Hey guys, happy Independence Day from Mike Troll, Amsoil dealer. So today we're working on the 07 Pilot. And if you've been on this channel, you know that we do the 100% synthetic Amsoil. We got the Amsoil uh, filter on the engine, but on this Pilot, I actually have an Amsoil bypass filter. I put this thing on like three years ago. Um, so the time has come, we need to change this out, and we're also gonna change the other filter. If you go back to a few months ago, we actually had a video where we analyzed the oil. The oil's still good, so we're just gonna change both these filters and top off. Now the thing I ran into was my hodgepodge installation. It's, it's ridiculous, guys, but basically I was able to get a hold of my filter mount with this, and then use a strap wrench and I was able to get my filter loose. And uh, basically what this is, you get an oil feed from the engine and you filter your oil down to two microns at 99% efficiency and then you return it right here to the oil fill cap. Gabe, right there to the oil fill cap. Now, so now I did loosen this off camera. Thank you, Jesse. And so what we're gonna do, ooh, I should probably have a drip pan here. We're basically gonna unscrew this. Ooh, you can see I got a date on here. It's also in the Amzoa My Garage, but February of 2020. Wow, that was literally right before COVID. And 148 was the mileage. So I think we're up over 160 something now. So not a tremendous amount of miles, but this car sees stop and go Clearwater, Florida city driving. So what it's not seeing in mileage, it is seeing in hours. And by the way, this oil is good for 700 hours, <clears throat> you know, without oil analysis. So with oil analysis, obviously in filtration, you push it out even farther. So we're gonna get a drip pan and get back with you. All right, so like I said, I loosened this off camera. Oop, there comes the oil. And I could give myself some extra clearance if I unscrewed that from the valve cover, but um, I probably should be wearing gloves. Yeah, do yourself a favor, guys, and wear where are your gloves? So on most installations, most guys are gonna, you know, mount these on their firewall or on a, a custom mount. But like I say in the video where I installed this beast, I am not a fabricator. I wish I was, but I, I just kind of hodgepodge this thing together and so it is what it is so you can see the mount see that uh, thing there's a flow restrictor it's a very tiny orifice there and what that does is control the amount of oil so we pre-filled here partially we oiled the gasket and we're just gonna screw it back on here oh i forgot to write my date and mileage on there but we can do that get done here also we'll go ahead and put it in the amsoil my garage which is a really convenient online uh, way to keep track of all your vehicle maintenance so we'll get that as tight as we can since it is a larger filter it'll tell you how many turns but we'll probably try to get another half a turn out of it all right Stop it. yeah so here's my hodgepodge installation. Um, I've got it all back in place. This is just a homemade uh, plastic bracket that I put together, but there's the new filter back in place and we pre-filled it. Um, didn't pre-fill it 100%, but it'll fill up and uh, return right in here to the uh, top of the engine with you know, analytically clean oil at that point. So now it is time to replace the full flow down on the engine. Um, this is 
99% efficient at 20 microns where the, the top filter, the bypass is 99% uh, at 2 microns. So it's a whole, that's a big difference in uh, wear protection. But even if you don't run a bypass, even if you just run this on your engine, you're good as you can see for 15,000 miles or one year with the Amsoil uh, Signature Series. Guys, you can get all these products at my link, number one synthetic.com, and I'll have those links in the pinned comment. Alright, we're just gonna loosen loosen this. Hopefully that was enough. Spin it off here. I do have my little pan here, so I'm not going draining right into the grass or anything. But, uh, yeah, guys, even if, uh, like I said, even if you're not doing the bypass filter, these are, that I can find the best filters, 99% at 20 microns by Amsoil. Do yourself a favor and wear gloves. I'm just, I'm just trying to, we got a lot going on, I'm trying to get this done. Bunch of other stuff happening today and got to go back to work in the morning but yeah I want to say thank you every one of you that subscribes shares likes comments has helped me get this YouTube channel uh, monetized and making a little bit and I just want to say thank you and also, when you go to my links, when you go to number1synthetic.com to purchase your Amsoil, you're also helping me out, and I appreciate every one of you. Now we got the Amsoil 100% synthetic, 0W20, and uh, so we're going to create some controversy here and pre-fill. This oil's filtered, so you don't have to worry about introducing contaminants. I just like not having a dry start when I start up. But to each his own. Alright guys, let's see if I can one hand this filming and screwing on here. You get the angle right. It's not straight up and down. There you go. See how easy that spins? If, it, uh, if it's not spinning easy like that, then you probably cross-threaded it. There it is. Thing of beauty. Hand tight. I like the grip coating. So that one I took off still had the smooth shell on it. But this is the new Amsoil filter with the grip coating, so it's, it's... Be sure to top off your oil level. And then we're going to do start and check for leaks here. And it's probably going to have to work some air out of the uh, new bypass filter. Um, and that's going to be obviously feeding back into there. Uh, but before we'll be able to get a true level. So now we got our oil in, and just so you can see, this is a swivel fitting. This comes in the Amsoil Bypass Kit, and there it is with the, the nut and everything. And so, yeah, there's different ways to hook these kits up. Uh, this one's a universal, so you kind of have to figure out a custom installation, like on this Honda. Um, you want the details. I got a couple really long videos detailing the process that I went through. It is a lot of trouble. I'm not going to lie and say it's not. Um, and on a small gasoline engine, I mean, yeah, I've virtually eliminated engine wear, but, you know, Hondas are known to last hundreds of thousands of miles anyway. I kind of did this as a sales tool and as an exercise to show you you know what could be done and show you the results with oil analysis 
Um, this might not make sense for you on a gas engine, but this could very well make sense for you if you got a diesel that holds several gallons of oil or even a big truck, you know, holding 10 gallons or something. But uh, yeah, check out my links. I'll have links for the bypass kits in the pinned comment as well, guys. Check those out. If you prefer to type it in yourself, there you go. Number one synthetic.com. So let's start up. Check for oil pressure. Looks like the light went out real quick. Yeah, we got the A6 code. So, guys, um, A is for the oil change, and 6 is for the VTM4. So, guys, if you happen to have, where is it? Sorry. If you happen to have VTM4, I have one of my more popular videos on my channel is where I changed the VTM4 fluid using genuine Honda fluid. Amsoil doesn't make uh, fluid for it. So go back and check that out. Maybe I'll try to link to these videos. But um, let's look for some leaks. So looking up top, here's the bypass set up. Everything looks good there. Right there. Now how about underneath on our full flow? Looks good. I don't see any puddles on the ground. And so for fun, now while this thing's filling up. I'll try to, I want to give you guys a, a shot of what this is. It's probably going to be a lot of air bubbles. So, let's see what we got. guys, if you think about it, the reason you can't make the filter on your engine as fine as that filter is the simple reason that you wouldn't be able to flow enough oil. And so having a, a two-step filter process allows you to filter just a small amount of it at a time and get it down to that ultra-fine two microns, 99%. Buddy and I would like to wish you happy Independence Day and say that you too can declare your independence from short oil changes, right buddy? Just go to my site, number1synthetic.com and see what AMSOIL products are available for your vehicle. Hey guys, so the verse of the day is from Psalm 112, verse 7. It says, He will not fear bad news. His heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. And it's a really good Psalm 112, so I like to get in there and had some stuff lately that we really had to depend on the Lord.